Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle that's sitting behind me today is a 2015 Toyota Corolla and besides the really dirty exterior, the inside of this thing is a gross and smelly mess. All right, starting with the exterior of the car and like most of the vehicles I've done recently, it's clearly driven on some wet and mucky roads and hasn't been washed for quite a while as the wheels and tires are absolutely filthy, but that's nothing compared to what hit me when I opened the door the smell in this car was horrendous and unlike anything I've smelled before, I'll touch more on that later in the video, but taking a look around and every single seat in here has some incredibly nasty stains in them that are the likely culprit at this point, but just before I mask up and dive into this car, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss out on a future video. I post a new one like this every week. Okay guys, well there's no question I've got a pile of work to do to get this car looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, well just before I get to work today, I'm going ahead and running my ozone machine in here to try to knock down some of the smell before I start working on the interior in a couple hours and getting started on the pre-wash rinse and I am very thankful to be working inside my heated garage today as it was minus 33 degrees Celsius outside today, but with the wind chill, it was feeling like minus 48, which is like minus 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, it was brutally cold, but I did have to brave the cold to get the before shots for you guys earlier. Now getting started in the rear wheel well, and to give you guys a bit of background on the car, it's got a little over 214,000 kilometers on it, or about 133,000 miles, so I'm not sure what the owner does for work, but my guess is he either commutes or travels for his job, and more than likely doesn't have a lot of time to clean the vehicle, inside or out, and to address a question I see lots regarding detailing in winter, yes it is possible to keep your vehicle clean for quite a while in the winter, when it's super cold out like it is, there's really nothing out there that's going to cause it to get dirty until the weather warms up and the streets are mucky again.
Okay, moving on to the foam bath, and for that I'm using my Detail Geek Mega Foam, which as you can see is going to produce thick and luxurious foam to cover the car in, and will give me the opportunity to go around with my Boar's Hair Detail Brush and agitate in and around all the crevices on the car to remove any remaining dirt or debris. starting on these dirty floor mats and I don't see this often but these mats were really horrible quality and just like the cheap velcro like carpet I see in a lot of vehicles typically carpet mats are nice and plush but it looks like Toyota is trying to pinch pennies. Okay, with the mats done, I'll go ahead and bring the car back inside the garage, and all of this steam is the result of the garage being full of warm, moist air, while the air outside is extremely cold. Even though I have a dehumidifier running, this still happens on days I'm not detailing, just not quite as bad. Then the first step of the interior is to quickly get the front seats removed after disconnecting the battery, and then taking a look underneath them, and there's clearly a bit of work to do here. working my way around the car and you can likely already tell but the carpet in this Toyota is really poor quality and is the cheap velcro like stuff I always talk about so knowing that and I know I'm going to need to agitate a bit more with the vacuum and really take my time to try to get it looking as good as possible today.
starting on the seats now and I'm already wondering to myself what on earth these stains are. I can tell you that the horrendous smell in here seemed to be a mixture of cigarette smoke, Mary Jane, and some sort of air freshener to try to cover it up. I really couldn't quite put my finger on it, but either way, it was absolutely putrid and I'm thankful I didn't have to smell it all day. Okay, well it's time for the main event now. And again, these stains have necessitated that I use my medium green drill brush on them as they're really bad, but thankfully they are loosening up pretty easy. And like I was mentioning earlier, my guess is that these stains are related to the smell on the car. What they looked like to me was if you took a smoker's lungs full of chemicals from years of smoking and just wrung them out all over the seats. Kind of gross to think about, but I really don't have any other explanation as to how this happens. Moving inside the car to the back seat now and I wanted to quickly remind you guys that episode 5 of the studio build series is live over on the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. There's been a whole heck of a lot of progress in the studio and on the shop side so if you've been waiting patiently for another update, well be sure to check it out, the videos are always entertaining.
Here's the bucket full of nasty water pulled from the Corolla today. Gross. Moving to the pedals, and I'm first spraying on some of my all-purpose cleaner diluted down to 4 to 1, which is heavy strength, and with the stiff attachment on the steamer, it doesn't take much more than a few seconds to get all the dirt loosened up and the pedal looking new again. Moving back outside now and to breathe some life back into this paint, I'm going to get some of my synthetic paint sealant applied to it, which if you didn't know is much the same as a wax, only a sealant will typically last longer, but the nice thing about mine is how easy it is to apply and remove, you certainly won't be struggling to wipe it off once it's hazed over. Now given this was a smoker's car, there was quite a buildup of film on the inside of the windshield, so knowing that, I grabbed a new towel so I could see just how much grime came off, and yeah, that's pretty gross.
All right guys, well, a relatively quick nine hours later and the Corolla is looking spectacular. And I gotta say, I am very thankful for my respirator today because that was one heck of a smelly vehicle. Definitely one of the smelliest ones that I've done. Now, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.